Hello, everyone, and welcome on in. How are we tonight? Hopefully, hopefully you guys are all well on this Sunday evening, and you know what that means. It's time to play some d, &D. Welcome back, Tales of Alicia, The Southern Isles, Episode 8. Honey, hi, hi, honey. Talk to everybody. Redeemed a 1d6 health potion. Okay, Cheesy Dad. What's up, buddy? How we doing? How you doing, Cheesy Dad? Um, Who do you want to give that health potion to? Here's the roster, bud. Here we go. Oh. You want to give it to... Oh, okay. You want to give it to Whisper's character. Gotcha. So we'll give it to Lore. Um, all right. Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome to D&D &D night. It's going to be a fun night. Um, I got another great tale for you guys. Um, we got our players in. We got um, Melon, Mori, Nawaz, and Whisper tonight. Uh, we will have, we still have, I know hey, fantasy, bro, don't worry about it. Um, have that set up for a reason. Um, but yeah, Allie will be joining us here in a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Um, other than that, uh, go ahead, right in there. But first I want to say the hi to cheesy Allie fantasy. Who else is, hold on, let me screw up a little bit more. Premise, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Maury, hi, Maury. But no, hopefully you guys are doing well. Hey, Smitty, hey, Nero. Um, but yeah, we're going to do another epic tale tonight. Get with our players. Okay, no worries. I know if you didn't want to. No, it's fine, bud. We're all good. Um, but yeah, we're going to head on over to our players and uh, see where they are currently up to. like the voyager or something you know that would, yeah that'll be something you oh, slide the voyager but anakin first has to go through you know uh starfleet training yeah that's true but when darth vader was on the enterprise it wasn't like it was you know the size of a planet or anything it was only tiny so it wasn't yeah, like they had he, a big fight with khan well darth vader only had you know the robotic imp upgrades he, he wasn't on like the uh you know the dna upgrades that uh khan had Hi, well, Billy. the original yeah, it was the original Star Trek they found the Wookiees, right? <laughs> yes, for sure. For sure. If memory serves. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, hi, Billy. Give me Billy? one minute. Give me one second. Just <laughs> give me a hot Billy minute. Face... <laughs> what is it here? You guys... <laughs> oh, my God. I'm back. <laughs> How do you really feel, Billy? Oh, okay. I, I feel bad. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why is it every? Why, why do you guys do this to me every time we start D and D? It was their idea. Mother of God. I couldn't. I had nothing, nothing to do with. Too it. busy laughing. Jesus Christ. I can't with you guys. It just. I was watching your face. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was. Do you? But before. Oh wow. Before we even Ooh. go ahead and do our. Recap of what happened four weeks ago. Happy birthday, Gabe. Just wanted to get that out of my system. Okay, now we're good. Happy birthday, Gabe. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gabe. Let's go ahead and continue. Southern Isles. <clears throat> so it happened four weeks ago. The party continued to solve the puzzle which led to being a god but not of this land. The god was found to be Magni visiting from Elysia to check the progress of the island's completion. Magni got caught in the crossfire. The party found out that the hand was, with, with the pentagram, sorry, words are hard, uh, when matched with the uh, pentagram platform, placed them within hell, which, you know, happens to be Lucifer's domain. Rose, thank you so much for the biddies. You have some biddies in your face. Thank you so much for the biddies. <laughs> um, Dad decided to challenge Lucifer to a duel, and it was found out that Cassie is Lucifer's daughter. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Not surprised. The party fought off demons and then Thad betted on her soul as Lucifer betted, bet his golden fiddle to a musical duel. Unknown to Thad, the duel started as both fought each other and Lucifer created a trap that would end Thad's life. Thad was declared the winner. Oh, yeah. Thad was declared the winner and Lucifer kept his part of the bargain. Dad was given the fiddle, but unfortunately lost his life. 
badge. We take a, a moment of silence. Yes, thank you. RP to Thad. Um, where was I at? How dare you play the music again? <laughs> Thad was given the fiddle, but unfortunately lost his life in the process. As the party watched them pass outside of the tents, while Thad looked down upon the water. As the party mourned the loss of their friend, friend, uh, Mr. Midnight had returned and caused another beam of magic to appear and raise destruction in the ocean more than what it was already raised. The party sat down to a meal and have their own funeral service for Thad and did what they could do to, could, what Jesus Christ words, did what they could to honor their lost friend. The party then rested and used the golden fiddle to find a cave that held four demons and Cassie's mother. Once the demons were slayed, the party gathered Cassie's mother and rushed her back to the tents. That where we end, ended the last session. So, you guys are back at the tents. Cassie's mother is still uh, very weak. Kind of, not in and out, but... Uh, is not conscious at the moment. Cassie, is there anything we can do for your mother? Is there anything that we can do to help? I I, I really don't know. I, I I've never seen her this this asleep before. Do we do we need to heal her? Is it in her mind? Is she okay? I I haven't seen I, magic like this. I, I don't know. Callow um, walks over and places his sensors upon uh, Cassie's mother's body. And after a few moments, he goes, she's still alive. Her vitals are good. But she, for whatever reason, isn't waking up. I don't know if it's something that Lucifer had done to her or or something like that, but it could be something magical. I'm, I'm not sure at this moment. I'll have to keep doing a diagnostics. Okay. Can I do uh, an Arcana check on her to see if there's like anything magical going on causing this? Yeah, go for it. Sixteen. Oh, good. Okay, yeah. Um, she's almost is in a magical trance state. Um. It, it's it would be pretty simple to dispel it honestly um and random item okay Thomas um so yeah she's in a in a trance of sorts and uh whisper I need you to put in a uh 1d6 health potion for later into your inventory 1d6 health potion okay. yeah also Thomas who do you want to have the item <laughs> here's the roster Oh, wait, no, never mind. That's not how that works. Okay, nope, I noted it. Good. You're good. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah, that, that's that's what you found out upon uh, examination. Is it... You would have to have a uh, Dispel Magic spell, correct, in order to do that? Not necessarily. Oh, well, in that case, I'll try and attempt to dispel it. Okay. Let me guess. Roll for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 17 plus what? Arcana? Yeah. 19. Uh, as you wave, wave your hands upon and over her body, uh, you start chanting out this incantation. Um, and after a few moments, her eyes open up and you hear <sighs> extreme heavy breathing um almost as well in like a chaotic scared state i'm just gonna step away and let cassie come to her well that's a neat trick mama just... are you are, are, are you okay cassie you're mm -hmm. you're here Mm -hmm. as she looks upon the room looking at all of you she goes where's your father is he gone 
as, as far as we know, yes, he, he's gone. Good. After a few seconds, she, you, you see her put her uh, hand up to her eye. Uh, looks like she's in a little bit of pain. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, and uh, she, she looks at back at Cassie again and goes, where's Thad? He's, he's gone, Mama. I'm sorry. No. No, 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 that can't be. I, I, I seen his, I, I seen his fate. There's a reason why. What? It, it's impossible to change fate. How could he change his fate like that? Change his fate? Yes. I told him, follow the moon and the stars. Which is the same pattern. Oh my God. By the gods, Cassie, where is your necklace? It... I'm sorry, Mama. It, it <sighs> broke. It disintegrated. That... That was the only way to protect you from your father. No. It, did we, did you tried. Did anyone, you guys tried to bring Thad back, correct? We bring him back. Everything. Cassie, there's something you need to know. Mm -hmm. I've seen how his life was going to pan out into the future. There was a reason mm -hmm. why I kept sending him to that sub shop that you worked at. You were his fate, Cassie. What? <laughs> Sorry. I'll mute. I've been muted. I've been muted. <laughs> I'm dying. What? <laughs> Damn it. Mama. Mama, what, what, what do you what? What 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 do you mean by this? Eventually, throughout his life, he was supposed to share a life with you. You two were gonna have multiple children. It will. Uh, but somehow uh, he changed his fate and gone. Osmo, thank you for the two months, by the way. Eight is a fickle, a fickle one. Well, nothing much more we can do about that now. Okay. All right. Thank you all. I, I do have to tell you all, thank you for freeing me. I do... Mm. Appreciate the works that you all had. Pardon, ma'am, but we haven't actually got your name. Um, what is it? Maury, send me a DM real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of edge towards Sanford. Did she say that Cassie was supposed to have kids with that? Well, I don't know the last time you went to a sub shop, but the last time I did, it was uh, quite an experience. I'm just going to kind of shudder and just take a few steps back. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a sub shop are you going to? <laughs> Let's just say there is more oil than vinegar. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> My scales turn a little redder. <laughs> my my name, by the way, is Helen. Helena, fuck. God damn it, Maury. <laughs> Helena, fuck. It is nice to meet you. Oh my, oh god. my god. I'm dying. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, 
And Sanford, can you give me a perception check, please? Uh, 11. Oh, no. I think you hear something outside, um, but you're not quite sure. All you heard pretty much was a... Ah! Oh, I thought I heard uh, a chicken or something outside. What time is it? <laughs> Does anyone happen to know the time of day? I might need to poke my head out to check the sun. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the whole Cassie kids sub shop thing. So, Sanford, you say you're going to go peek your head outside? Yeah, I'll just poke it out real quick. As you do, um, you, you look outside and see uh, this black structure continuously rising. At this point, it's about 500 to 700 feet up in the air um, oh, as it keeps rising. That's tall. That's really tall. And standing at the top of it, you see what looks like Mr. Midnight. But it looks like he's wearing black armor, except for on uh, around his head. He still has a, uh, a hood is, upon his head. Is this the same structure that was already rising out of the water, or is this somewhere else? No, this is the, still the same structure. It's just getting taller and taller. Ah. As you look, you just hear... <laughs> Quickly, quickly come back into the tent without hearing the rest of his cackles. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you that there is a disturbance outside that requires all of our attention. Can can you, can you kind of describe it a little bit? Just I because must away, maybe I should matters. stay in here with my mom. Take care and may you level up in nose fun. goes. Thank you, promise. Bye. Have a good time. I'm just going to take a step outside the, the tent. As you take a step, you see Mr. Midnight. Um, and you see a beam of energy uh, coming from the opposite side of where you're at on the other side of the volcano and hitting the um, the structure as it continuously as it continues to rise out of the ground. Mr. Midnight, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> it's good it's good to see my favorite people again <laughs> oh your favorite people so that that would mean we're friends right <laughs> call it what you will and you see a fireball being shot towards you guys oh, the 100 it missed it went over your heads and hit the trees directly behind you call it what I will I'll call it you have shitty aim I see your age is starting to kick in, Mr. Midnight. Step out as well. <laughs> she likes some glasses. <laughs> hey, Whisper? Yes? <laughs> or Lord, can you make me a constitution saving throw? Oh, no. Oh, well, here we go. Ooh. I hope to God you got new dice. Nope, same ones. Uh, uh, 15. 15, okay. Ah. Same okay. dice, I just found my missing stash of my good dice. Of your luck. Missing um, stash of luck. Okay. Oh, good. All right. You feel something penetrating your mind. And um, you hear Mr. Midnight tackling inside your head. Uh, luckily, it's not enough for you to take the full broad of damage, so you're going to end up taking half damage. Um, as the cackling continues, you feel like... You're having this horrible migraine inside your head, dealing six psychic damage. Yeah, that's half. Yeah, that's half. Mm. You know, <clears throat> that hurt. But what you don't know is I speak to people a lot worse than you. And I'm going to throw back uh, Agonar's Scorcher. How far is the radius on that? 30 feet. Uh, He's way out of out of range for oh, that. Not far out of it. Okay. Well, he's wait, yelling at somebody seven hundred feet in the air. He's oh, he's that far. He's seven hundred feet in the air, one hundred twenty feet out in the water. Oh, I just flip him the bird then. 
I thought he was a lot closer than that. I just flip him the bird. No. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, I'd rather you don't flip me. <laughs> <laughs> As you stick your finger out into the air, um, he snaps his fingers and you hear what sounds very menacing way beyond behind him. But it sounds like a roar of some some sort, but you're not quite sure of what. Uh, can I look and see if I can do a perception check out towards the island and stuff? See if anything's going on out there? If anything has changed? You can certainly try. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> uh, uh, that's not that good. can always try. can always try. 10 plus, where is my... Perception. Why am I missing my perception? Oh, 12. Um, you don't see anything. Um, but you, all you notice is that this arcane bolt that's flowing to the, uh, structure is, is coming from the current island that you're on. Um, <laughs> it's just on the other side of the volcano. So you kind of see it like go through half of the volcano and hit this thing, this, uh, this monument. I haven't visited it's just the high side of the volcano yet. <laughs> Perhaps less talking and more figuring out where's that coming from. A second oh, altar coming. awaits you! <laughs> yeah. I'm on board with um, completely ignoring this man and continuing on with as well. We will meet again, my lovelies! <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sure we'll meet again. And you just see him fade. As he's fading, I'm just going to turn around, walk back into the tent, but stick my tail up like a middle, middle finger at him again and just walk into the tent. <laughs> gonna, I'm going to join him, and like as we walk into the tent, I'm just like to be like, I swear, one day he'll actually face us like a man, not like this little bitch up in the sky, constantly complaining and throwing the psychic attacks. Jesus, face us. As you walk in there, give Boy, me... kind of hurt. <laughs> b both of you give me a perception check, please. Ooh, natural 20. Ooh! So, 22. Got a 13. Okay. Um, Lore, you're the first to notice that once you walk back in, um, you see uh, Helena slumped over into a chair as if she's been beat up. Uh, you also notice a blood trail that leads to uh, Henry's room, and Henry is missing. Uh, is Cassie well, still there? Yes. Cassie? Hmm? What happened? I... 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 I don't know. I'm gonna run into the other room and see if I see anything inside there. I'm gonna run up to Helen to try to check on her. <laughs> okay. I will, I will join checking with Helen. Checking on Helen. Okay. So before we check on Helena, let's go ahead and... Pro, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. Hello, everybody. Give me one second, guys. Hello, everyone. I am Billy, aka Darkman Gaming. Um, I'm a Twitch variety streamer and also Dungeon Master for this campaign that we are playing tonight. Um, we're having a lot of fun. Welcome to episode eight. Uh, right now, the party's trying to figure out what happened inside this tent uh, while they were being distracted by Mr. Midnight. Um, Again, bro, thank you so much for trusting me with your community. Now we're going to get back to the story. Okay, so, Laura, you walk into the the the, the room that uh, has the blood trail that leads into, inside of it, right? Whisper? Oh, sorry, yes. No, <laughs> hit my mic with my chin. Oh, no, you're fine. No. <laughs> um, yes, I do. Okay, so as you walk in there, start looking around. Um, everything is out of sorts. There's furniture just thrown all the way around the room. You see stab marks in the mattress uh, with a very large amount of blood on the on the on the bed. Uh, but you do notice that there is a shard of something inside the mattress. I'm gonna oh, go wow. check Where's that out. Been? Do what? Where's Colaspin? This whole time. Uh, you haven't seen Okay. Um, so you start looking through the mattress. You see a small 
purple crystal shard of the same uh, ore that you guys were sent to, um, you know, begin this whole quest, you know, of trying to make sure there's nothing bad going on here so that the excavation team can find and get to the rest of this new ore. Uh, but you found a sliver of it inside of Henry's bed. And it's just the ore, nothing else around it? No, nothing else around it. You just find a small little purple uh, ore that was, you know, metal that was in his bed. Um, almost looks like a uh, sword tip. Do I see any signs of struggle or coloss or anything else besides the blood trail? Uh, you don't see coloss in here, but there was definitely signs of struggle. Um, what was capturing him by the, the you see handprints of what looked like blood. Um, it looked like Henry tried to defend himself with uh, a small chair, a little table, part of the bed itself. Um, so Henry definitely did put up a fight. So but, he knew his attacker. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, but you do notice that on one of the blood splatters on the wall, you see a handprint that doesn't look like anything you've seen. It only has uh, three fingers onto the whole hand. Three fingers on the whole hand. Who else would be... Soul? Yeah? Can can you come here for a minute? Yeah, I'll go scurry over. So I've got this. Look, look, and I'll pass the shard over to Soul. And look, look at the wall. Three fingerprints, handprint on the wall. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Oh, uh, well, have I? I'm sorry, I had a phone call. What was that? Have I seen anything like the three fingered? What might have made that? Give me a nature check. Nature. Yeah, that's gonna be a fucking no. That's a three. Nope. <clears throat> you nope. you you can't find your uh, an even slightest guess to to see what that was. I've never seen anything like it either. But look at the shard. Does that not look like a weapon tip or something broken off some kind of weapon to you? Uh, this is uh, this is strangely uh, sword shaped. Uh, let me. I'm gonna pull up my sword and just compare it to the what was, I guess, the tip of my blade to uh, kind of see how much it matches the uh, sword blade. Okay. Um. So as you match it up, can you give me a Constitution saving throw, please? And say okay. Ooh, that is a 19. As it gets closer, you see this mul multiple arcs of lightning uh, hit your, your broken end of the blade, and you just hear a ting, and it forged itself with your blade. Oh, shit. Creating a new sword tip for you. Um, well, <laughs> that is most definitely now a sword tip. If it wasn't before. Well, that answers that. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> Coloss! Coloss! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, as you shout for Coloss, uh, you hear a, a little bit of whimpering coming from a, a different room. Uh, I'm going to try and follow the sound and see if I can uh, hear the whimpering is coming from. I'll truck along with him. Uh, perception, both of you. Oh, there's my luck back. Oh, it is a 14. Do I have to say it out loud? Yes. Five. Wolf. Five, nothing. 14. Uh, it takes you a few minutes, but you're able to locate him in a room that's a little bit down the hallway and off to the left in one of the many desk areas that Henry has set up. Um, you walk in there, you notice that the desk has been tipped over. And so has a few bookshelves, and you see Gloss trapped underneath one of the bookshelves. You go and uh, help! I can't breathe. Uh, let, help me get this off him. Now I'm gonna run over and try and help lift as well. Break the check, both of you. Oh, natural twenty. 
Go ahead. That is a 18 for me. As, okay, geez, with a natural 20, as you guys both start lifting this up, um, books and scrolls are content, are still falling out of it. Um, as you lift up with that natural 20 there, Lore, and you start moving it away from him, uh, Saul, your feet come off the ground as it's being transported over and sat down uh, off to the side. <laughs> So, are you gonna help with this? This is a little heavy. <laughs> it seems like you got it. You know, like I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you look at Colossus, you notice that um, he he is bleeding from his side. It looks like he's broken multiple ribs, uh, fractured two of his paws, and has his back leg broken. Uh, thank you for the Shit. sub, Ember. Uh, I would like to run up to him if I make your wounds. Okay, perfect. Try to try to ease it a little bit. Uh, that is, oh, it's an eight, not a, not a six. Okay. Uh, you're That's able... to four points. Four points, got it. Yeah, that helps a little bit. Um, one paw is no longer broken, and a few ribs are back in place. As he lays there, he goes, I hurt all over. This looks uh, devastating. Uh, did, did something knock it over? Oh, what, what caused the bookshelf to fall on you? Uh, there was, there was these, sh these, these figures. Uh, they, they didn't look of any world that I've ever seen before. <sighs> they had bright red eyes, but they just l looked like shadows that appeared out of the ground. As they materialized, they just started destroying stuff. Went after me, went after Henry. Went after that that woman out there that lo looks a lot like Cassie. Lost, did you see them go after Cassie? Did you see Cassie? Have you saw anyone near Cassie? There was one that came up behind Cassie and it looked like that she was shrouded within them. I don't even think she noticed. I'm going to walk back towards... Sol, do you have Coloss? Yeah. I'm going to go back to Cassie. I'm still checking on Helena. Okay, we're going to put a pause on that. Do Helena. All right. Milady, Milady, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Oh my god, my body hurts. Uh, what happened? These figures... It, it, it started as like these black shadows all over the ground, moving. Henry went to go grab something to see if he could examine it. We didn't know what it was until they started taking shape, rising out of the ground, producing red eyes, and started attacking us. Oh my god, they got Henry. Jesus, we'll, we'll look into this, but right now, are you okay? What, what, how, how hurt are you? Uh, just a f short of breath and chest hurts, but other than that, I'm okay. Can I, like, do any kind of check to make sure that she's, like, not dying? Give me a survival check. Oh, where is that at? Survival, survival. There we go. 23. Oops. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, no. Um, she, she, she's gonna make it. She's, she's okay. Okay, okay. Be careful. Just stay laying where you are. We'll, <sighs> we'll get we'll get Sol or uh, Cassie. Cassie, could could you please come here? Okay. Just can you do what you can? Patch her up. We need to um, we need to search for Henry. It seems. All right. Um. He took Henry. Guys. He really took Henry. These, these shadow figures, you, you saw them take him out of the tent. They took him to the door of the tent and realized that you guys were out there. They, they spoke a language that I could not comprehend, and then two of them grabbed a hold of Henry and turned him into one of those figures, and they all disappeared. They went back into the ground, and then the shadows ran. Great. 
They just they just shadowed him up, did they? Yeah. Jesus. This island, I swear, I swear to God, this island. So, or, I'm sorry, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Sanford, give me your hand. Okay, I reach out my hand. She grabs her hand, and you see this vision from her point of view. Um, as she was sitting in the chair, uh, you guys, you know, heard the cackle of Mr. Midnight and wa- walked outside. Uh, Henry came out from the back, and so did... Uh, um, gloss and you see Cassie standing there and all of a sudden she looks to the ground and you see all these circles of shadow moving around um, as they take shape you see exactly what described to you the shadowy figures as Henry went to combat a few of them a lot of them pounce upon Henry she fought Coloss fought the entire way um, you see Coloss was ended up dragging one completely back uh, into the back as seen an, uh, the figure that was in front of um, of um, sorry Helena split three ways and two of them grabbed a hold of of Cassie and shrouded her in the darkness um, as the fight continued uh, you saw them drag Henry out and you hear the words that they murmured and there was another figure that came through the door that no one's seen um it it looked like a man that was sick with a book stuffed inside of this rib cage of his he looked undead his left hand missing just replaced with what looked like a metal gauntlet he smiled and as he walked out of the tent and disappeared so did the shadows with Henry uh, when Mori or I'm sorry when Cassie came to um, and the shadows let off of her she started looking around the room and then that's when you guys came back into the tent and then you feel the con- disconnection alright these words that they said do, do I understand them, or are they just another language? You don't know the language. All right. Um, it was it was oh, something that was... Like off land or out, not not of this plane of existence. That that oh god, that was an experience that I'd rather not have again. Ooh, that was Jesus. What was that? We don't know, but it can't be good. Not if they were searching for Henry. Did you you saw that come through the door of the tent? That what undead creature? Yeah, I, I, I felt cold immediately. It was as yes. if sucking the lung, the air out of my lungs with his presence. I didn't like it just from that vision. Let alone, I can't imagine from a physical experience. It's, how did we not sense this just outside the tent? Whatever it was, it cannot be of this world. (laughs) My dear Helen, there's a lot of things on these islands, but I can assure you most of them don't appear to be from this world. Eat this place. Amen. (laughs) Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and pause on that. And head back to Coloss, Lore, and, uh, ah, uh, God. Soul, Soul, sorry. Been a while. How could you forget the little owl's name? I'm been sorry! A been a while. It's been a while. I was heading back towards, uh, Cassie and them anyway. Okay. And, Soul, what are you doing? Uh, oh, I'm gonna make sure that Coloss is, uh, at least stable and I guess safe for the time being. Uh, he appears to be. Uh, okay. I'm just going to lay here for a little bit longer. <sighs> Definitely take it easy, friend. You will not lose another once this day. And then I too will rejoin the group. Yeah. So both of you ended up walking back out. 
Um, you see, you know, Sanford sitting there, but look, has like a wave of terror upon his face. Sanford, are you okay? I'm okay, friends, but I don't know if we are in the, the bigger picture. We've got some, some big problems. How so? It appears some sort of shadow creature came when we were outside the tent. Uh, I don't believe Cassie was aware of the situation, but they come to have take Henry and injured poor Helena here. Um, it's, it's some sort of she showed me a vision. It, it, it appeared to be some sort of undead creature. I don't know. This is this is beyond me. Did, did you notice anything in your vision with three fingers? Did you see any kind of creature that may have taken Henry? There's a blood splatter on the wall in, in the room where Henry was. And there was a struggle and there's a print on the wall with three fingers. And I think that may be a key to help find where Henry is, if we can figure out what this creature is. Did I see someone with three fingers? All the shadow creatures had three fingers. I'm, I'm not sure it's actually going to help as much as you think. Most of the, um, the, the creatures in this vision had three fingers. <laughs> well... At least we know now where that handprint came from. Helena. Yes. Are you... I know you're weak and I know you've been through a lot, but you said Cassie's necklace. You, you said it being broke that Cassie is no longer protected. No, she's not. That, that was to go ahead. That necklace was to protect her from all evil. But I have a feeling her father. And whatever other forces may be destroyed the necklace. I don't know if it's a sign of them getting stronger, but he was never able to touch her necklace or let alone be near her at all. So why go after Henry and not Cassie? Why take Henry if Cassie is the key? No. I don't know if this is one of Lucifer's parlor tricks. Something bigger is at play here. <clears throat> well, I would not be surprised that Henry has a knack of solving puzzles and figuring things out. Perhaps there's something that they need him to figure out for them. He is a resourceful man at the very least. <laughs> <sighs> Only thing I can give you on additional information is when I figured out what Lucifer's plan was to continue this unholy trinity <clears throat> you are I, I assume you've you've been to other islands right yes okay oh uh, which uh, which which evil was at that island narrow this down at uh, which which island you guys went to a, were at a previous island, correct? Uh, are you saying the like whoever was doing ritual there or something? Which my husband cannot work alone. I know that he has to have other allies with him. But I need to know which other allies you've already come in contact with. Okay, Anything but, helps. Uh, from what we've heard, uh, there's, there's this holy trinity, which is Lucifer. Then there was, um, short, was it? Asmodeus was one, I knew that. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and Vecna. As you Did... say that, her eyes get wide. That's who that was. I know who Asmodeus is. <clears throat> that's, who, that's who, what was, what, what? What you seen... The undead creature is Vecna. You've seen him in my vision. <clears throat> I'm going to. I'm still in the tent, so I'm gonna walk over to the the kitchen area and shuffle through the cabinets for a bottle of whiskey to quickly <laughs> quickly calm my nerves. 
<laughs> you you uh, find the bottle just fine. <laughs> scrambling about, just uh, shit, shit, shit. Can, can shit. you get another extra glass for me, sir? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. It appears that whatever scene out there was given the perfect distraction for Vecna and whatever minions he has to come in here and take what they need. While this is going on, mm -hmm. I'm just going to casually kind of walk outside the tent for a minute. Okay. Can I, while I'm out there contemplating everything, can I just take a look around the outside of the tent to see if I see maybe any form of trace of where Henry might have went or any kind of anything out of place around the tent? Give me perception as you walk around the tent. 11. You notice that the sand was not moved whatsoever. There's no tracks of anything. I'm just gonna kind of walk back inside. Wait. Here you go, Sol. Uh, I don't know what he uses this. <laughs> well, alright. So but Vecna was in here. <laughs> yes, indeed. Drink the glass and I want to address everyone here. So Vecna happened to be in this room. Cassie was unaware under some sort of spell or illusion, I guess. He is left with our comrade, Henry. I have an idea to uh, attempt to find the location, but before I do this, do we have any hints? Does anyone know of any direction this could have been before I do this? I so took I'm a saying, look around outside. There's nothing. Nothing is disturbed. Well, the only problem is um, there is another beam of light that is pointing at this, for lack of better terms, it's it was it's like a stared, like a tiered stared structure coming up. Uh, it looks like it's multi-tiered. Okay, so I'm gonna say, if I'm gonna call it for lack of better terms, a uh, ziggurat of sorts. Um, especially considering the forces we're dealing with. Um. So there was a beam of light pointing at it from the other side of the volcano on this island. He, on Mr. this Midnight, island? Mr. Midnight did mention a second ritual site. Yes. And we only stopped one. So perhaps we start there. Yeah, Agreed. I feel like this is a good place. <clears throat> good place to start. Trace this back to its source and hopefully, if nothing else, solve them. So you guys have your heading then. Mr. Gibbs, we have our heading. <laughs> <laughs> on the road again. Let's get on. back on the road oh again. God. This is when we need that song from like Vox Machina <laughs> when they're transporting Grog. Oh, <laughs> dashing through the snow. Oh, Jesus Christ. So fancy, over the hills we go, um, all the way. As you glug, glug, glug. drink your whiskey and figure out a plan, um, you hear something outside that sounds like sparks. Sounds like sparks. Like sparks. Jump outside. What's the tent? What is sparking? <sighs> you, you see multiple machinery parts, gears, and stuff like that. And as you continue to look, you find uh, Callow. Not Callow. <laughs> no, we just had you repaired. <laughs> look to run up to him. Uh, yeah, hopefully this will help. I know you're mostly automaton, but I would like to use Spare the Dying, if I may. Yeah, that's fine. Just, yeah, I'm going to try to cast Spare the Dying on him. Okay, you cast Spare the Dying, and he is restored to 2 HP. <laughs> hey, you're not dead. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. I'm going to run over and cast Cure Wound <clears throat> at second level. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> yeah, or well, if she does that, I'm going to pull out two lodestones and start casting Mending on, on like some of the broken parts of his armor. 
Now he gets 5 HP back. I like lend any kind of help to this. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I want to try to fix what I was broken tried with mending. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. Take some time. It's a minute per cast. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so he gets 5 HP back. You notice that his now internal organs that was exposed, was shredded, are now healed. <laughs> um... And as Soul starts mending with the lodestones, something else happens. Give me an Arcana check, Soul. From me. Uh, that ooh, uh, eighteen. As you have your lodestones out, and you're you're focusing on this, okay? You notice that your sword. See what looks like purple creeping up your blade, up onto your hilt. Feel this extreme weight on your left arm as if someone just put like 20 pounds of iron in your hand and it creeps down your hand onto the lodestone and falls as if it was like liquid onto the part that you're trying to fix and starts building a metal contraption restoring his arm. Whoa, uh, this was peculiar. What in the fuck did I give you, Saul? I, I don't know what this mineral is. Uh, I, I can definitely see why the Ravenswoods would want it. But is it a something Henry was hiding? Well, Maybe this is why they took Henry. Maybe this is what they were looking for. What um, seen his arm restored? Um, I would again like to take a peek at the sword to see if the tip was still there. It is. Just curious. See the arm come to life and starts crawling its way to the other arm. As you see it make connection onto the other arm, you see the second arm starts contracting with the purple, with this, with that purple metal. As it builds itself, you, you just watch now two arms moving to a leg, and then another leg, and the cogs, eventually building itself back up. Then you start seeing all the parts float in midair, and instantly, king, 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 right onto Kalo. I to take a few steps back and just kind of gaze in awe. What on earth is happening? As you're watching this, you see Kalo start getting up. And as he stands up, notice that both arms are completely huge. His legs are huge. His body, as if it was rebuilt. Same with his head. <laughs> he no longer looks like the, the Kalo that, you, that you've seen before. He's more detailed. He gets up, he goes, Oh my god, what an upgrade! He's like, oh, oh my, oh, guys, I, 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 have... I, I feel something different right now. <sighs> well, now we have Kalo Mark 44, Hulkbuster. <laughs> I couldn't tell. He is about six inches taller now. <laughs> <laughs> so I said he is now the Hulkbuster version, Mark 44. He goes, oh, I could get used to this. And he pounds uh... both fists together. And you see an arcane lightning shroud around his entire body. Well, apparently this worked <laughs> far better than I expected. Uh, by the gods. Wait. Glad I was here to help. What did you expect in the first place, Sol? <laughs> Just to hopefully try to scrounge up some of the damaged parts, but... I never expected finding this metal tip, which then fused with my sword, to then channel through the mending spell and just completely build him anew. Oh. That's how you... This feels nice. Jeez. I don't know what I can do with this new body, but we'll find out soon. That was... I suppose so. Uh, yeah... But, like, are you feeling right as rain? Like, you could just go for a good old tussle. Oh, yeah. I could go for a tussle. 
<laughs> he, he cracks his mechanical knuckles, and again you see arcs of of uh, purple lightning with each crack of his knuckle. Yeah. All right, wait, wait, wait. Before we make our heading, what are we going to do with Helena? Hang Coloss. Coloss is in no condition to travel. Uh, of some are in condition to fight. Does anybody have any healing that we can help heal Coloss? But we still have Helena. What do we do? Helena goes, I think I can heal Coloss. I still have... Or I hope I still have those those potion syringes. Hold on, let me look. You see his entire forearm open up, and instead of seeing the red icker inside of these syringes, there's now a purple one. He goes, okay, that's new. It should still do the same, though. I mean, they were they were healing pots before. Uh, uh, turn to the others and go, well, help me carry Colossus out here and see what uh, Kalos got. I'll go back with Soul because I know where Coloss is and I'll help uh, Soul carry out Coloss. How tall is Kalo now? <laughs> well, before he was 5'11. Okay. About six and a half feet. 6'4. <laughs> He's about 6'6 six, six right now. <laughs> I'm going to walk up to Kalo and. Just... You, you got a little bit taller. He, he looks at you and and you just see a smile upon his face. <laughs> um. Okay. So the other two, that's gonna go get Saul. Uh, you guys walk in there and you see, uh, Helena casting uh prestigitation in the room, kind of cleaning it up a little bit, um, with her magical skills. It starts putting things back together and stuff like that as you walk past, and Soul still laying there. <sighs> oh. I mean, Coloss is still laying there. Coloss. Coloss. I'm sorry, <laughs> Jesus. Well, who did I say? Soul. Soul. Me. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm sorry. As I'm standing over Soul with my sword. <laughs> no, sorry. What? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Lost, we're gonna take you out. We're gonna try and get you some help to make you feel better. Okay. Yeah, it's just, uh, who knows what will happen? Perhaps, uh, hopefully, it's the good stuff. Wait, wait, what do you mean you don't know what will happen? Well, yeah, we'll see don't worry about in it. In a few moments. As you guys hoist him up, you can just see, like, in his eyes, he's worried. <laughs> the terror. Soul, how are you feeling? Fit as a fiddle. You don't feel <laughs> anything different. You don't feel strange. Nice fiddle joke. Uh, God damn it! <laughs> you look a little strung out. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm certainly fine. For fuck's sake, whisper. Soul's <laughs> drunk. I'm just. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I just did it. Well, I've only had, you know, a couple shots, but we're okay. But for your Ow. little body. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh shit! It's bird whiskey. It's designed for us. <laughs> it's very low alcohol content. Like two percent. Oh my god. <laughs> um. So yeah, you guys, you guys carry him outside and lay him down, and Callow walks over. <laughs> he looks. He goes. I don't like this. No, I don't want to do this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> come. Callow goes. I'm, I'm gonna peek around, uh, Callow, and look at Colas, and it's okay. Just you'll be okay, Colas. I promise. And <laughs> Callow reaches over. He goes, "Colas, look what I got you here." <laughs> and Colas looks over. He goes, "Huh?" And you just hear <laughs> right into his skin with with that syringe, and you see the liquid go into Callow's body. And he pulls the syringe out. He goes, okay. I don't know what that did. I'm going to take a few steps back. You yeah. don't yeah. know. I don't, don't to be, yeah. I'm going to gonna fly up in the air a little bit. Pedigree, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Um, so yeah, as you did that, you guys start stepping back. After a few minutes go by, you see him not really like 
struggling but kind of agitated for a hot second, start seeing his entire body turn purple and translucent. Uh, what? Did you turn him into a ghost? You turned him into a ghost. Colossus <laughs> gets up onto all four feet. He goes, Oh, yeah! Completely healed. Um, but on his left shoulder, you notice that hair falls off and you see a runic symbol on his left shoulder. Uh, it's a symbol familiar. Uh... I don't know. Uh, a few more minutes go by and the purple starts to fade and you notice that all the purple goes back into the rune. Like this runic tattoo that he now has. Colossus. Yeah? Are you okay? Yeah, I feel right as rain. Can, can you turn just a bit so I can see that rune without getting any closer for a minute? Now what? He looks, he goes. Oh no! Looks like you have a new tattoo. I don't like this. Do I recognize what it is? Uh, give me... Give me your con. <laughs> 18. It looks to be a runic protection spell. Well, good news, Coloss. You, you, the tattoo doesn't mean you're gonna die this second. Uh -huh. It's okay, boy. It's 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 a protection rune. Oh, that, that's better. My throat feels funny though. Feels scratchy. Mm. You start, I'm not looking down his throat. Start hearing him cough, and as he continues to cough, you see. <laughs> Purple lightning shoot from his mouth. <laughs> he goes, Oh my god! I can't, I don't know why, what am I gonna do? Well, I definitely suggest not burping. He's like, Oh no, so I'm call Odin. I'm not, I, I think I'm Thor. <laughs> I think we've strung out Coloss a little bit. I'm freaking out! Oh, and I try and calm Colo Colos Col Wow Colos Colos Col but dip but yeah you know what I mean the dog. <laughs> uh you can certainly try. That's animal handling, I take it? Yes. Thirteen. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna get bit, aren't I? No! You walk over and you start petting Coloss, you know. You're, you're petting him, trying to calm him down and stuff. And as he looks to you... <laughs> oh boy, what's your armor class? No, oh, for fuck's sake. 13. Oh no. Okay, no, you're good. You're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> you see <laughs> the same lightning shoot from his eyes, and you hurry up and move your head out of the way, and it just goes up. You just watch this arc continuously to go. It goes... It goes, and then it hits hits the structure in the middle of the water. Why do people keep throwing stuff at me today? It hits the structure 700 feet away. Yes. He had that much of an arc on it. To where it hit the building. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah! Such a some range. Um, I don't know how to control help. this. Apparently, you want to help call us Blitzwolf. Someone help. Um, well... Was this one of those collapsible tents by chance? Because maybe we should get Helena and sort of move in and figure this out on the way. As you that look at the... Like you guys look at the tent <laughs> and you, you see the same button on it. Just like yours. Uh, Cassie, you might get in your mother out, out of the tent so we can collapse it and take it with us. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm curious. What happens when you push the button with someone inside? I don't want to find out, but that would be very interesting. Mm, let's let's not find out. Let's do it with somebody we don't like. Okay. Oh, Rest in peace, Dad. Oh. 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 
Hell Whatever Callow was just gonna say just goes, oh. I like the bad humor, but that is dark. That's really too soon. We just lost him a few hours ago. I didn't say it would kill him. I'm just saying he was the good one to, you know, test these magical things out on. I just look at si Sanford and start playing a tiny little fiddle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. We could have used that at least three times over. <laughs> um. So yeah, you go in and get your mother. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. She comes walking out of the tent, and you guys hit the button. The tent collapses, folds itself back up, into this nice, neat little box. Helen, are you okay for travel? Yeah, I should be all right. <sighs> I, I, well, if you been seem worse like not, we get, get these magical purple shards, apparently. What? If you seem like you need to, we have these magical purple shards that can um, turn you into breathing lightning or something. Huh. That, okay. And she just walks away. <laughs> I wonder, actually, um, I'm just going to walk by Sanford and, just out of curiosity, tap his bow as I walk by with the tip of the sword. Just, just out of curiosity. <laughs> oh no! For no other reason! Oh no! Oh, wait, what? Oh, what? So you just tap the bow with the purple, right? Like, yeah. your purple tip. Okay, oh boy. Oh, oh you're just tipping him? You're just, oh, please, sorry. Just don't the tip. Just, just the tip. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so as soon as it makes con I gotta roll for this. I gotta roll for this for myself just to find out the outcome. Eighty out of a hundred. Oh boy, here Please we go. Please don't break the bow. Um <laughs> As you do <laughs> So you tap it, alright? It latches uh -huh. itself onto the bow and creeps to the string and reinforces the string. Do okay. I notice this? Yeah, you guys see this. <clears throat> um, my string turning purple. So I don't know what would have caused that. Um, try shooting an arrow. Oh boy! Oh, oh, <laughs> right. this, I'm going to stand behind Sanford. I've had enough thrown at me for one day. We're gonna draw an arrow and aim it out into the ocean. Okay! Where the, the structure is, seven. Hey, <laughs> just, just fire one at the structure. So as, hit the water. as you knock the arrow and start pulling it back, you notice that your entire arrow turns purple and you start hearing sparks on its tip. And as you release, zoom, it hits the water. And you hear a lightning strike right where that hit. So I, I know I'm an owl, right? My eyes don't really do anything wide open, but if I could potentially open any wider than wide open, I would like to. And you see a shark floating in the water where, where your arrow landed. Oh, shit! As well as a radius no. of 10 feet. Of other fish. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> well said, um, <clears throat> that will be a common handy if I got you. <laughs> what do you say the least? What did you do? Why would you do that to me? <laughs> Alright, I mean, uh, let's, um, yes, yeah, <clears throat> indeed, indeed, uh, a, a mighty fine, um, Right. <laughs> okay, so you're able to use lightning arrows three times a day. <laughs> uh, <sighs> so oh, shit, yeah, Aquaman's going to be very angry. <sighs> <laughs> Aquaman. Okay, you guys are walking. <laughs> um, you continue your walk. Oh yeah, someone redeem random. Okay, here we go, oh, boy. Here we go. Here roll D one hundred. Okay. So as you guys continue to walk, about eighty-seven feet ahead of you, 
You see something poking out of the ground. Is it? Do we notice it moving or anything? Not moving. But it looks like it's stabbed into the earth. Stabbed into the earth. Well, let's go take a look. Does anybody else see that? Yeah, it's, it's uh, something sticking out of the ground. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> oh my god. I can oh, walk right that. up and grab it. Yep. <laughs> well, let's go take a closer look, shall we? All right, I'm gonna walk up closer. All right, let's all let's all walk. Up. Let's all go. <laughs> mm. Yeah, as you get closer, um, you see what appears. Maybe it's you. You think that it could be either a warhammer or a great axe. So it's a big, big haft sticking out of the ground. Do what? I'm sorry. So it's like, I, like I've got a big shaft sticking out of the ground and something oh underneath. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look clean or is it like look used and dirty? Uh, you can tell by the wood on the, the wood shaft of it. It looks dirty. Like it's been heavily used. So my ex-wife got it. Um, <gasps> oh, wow. That needs to be and clipped. We... <laughs> Can we, can I walk up and just kind of take a look around it to see if there's any traps or anything around it, or if there's anything there? Yeah, you sure can. Oh, this is, god damn it. <laughs> uh, 16 plus, what would it be, investigation? Yeah, let's say that. 18. <clears throat> no traps. You, you start feeling around, looking. Uh, you don't see any traps. Mm. It looks safe if anybody's strong enough to want to pick it up. Well, let's give it a try. I'm a, I'm an owl, so. <laughs> <laughs> Such means nothing. I'm going to crack my knuckles and go, gonna pull it, like try to dig it out <laughs> enough to just pull it. Yes, give me a strength check, please. Let this, for the love of God, please, please. It's a DC 17, please. Mm -mm. No! Oh no, I feel that. No! It would have been such a comical thing to see a little three foot owl and pull this big ass thing out of the ground! Seeing Soul do this and knowing the whole bookcase incident from earlier, can I just kind of roll my eyes and reach over and see if I can pick it up? Yes. Strength check, but as you've seen. Okay, a little bit of breakdown. We've all, I assume you guys seen like that scene where Chris Evans tried to pick up Mjolnir, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's oh yeah. Oh, like. yeah. Well, that's yes. kind of why I said I rolled my eyes. I'm imagining the whole bookshelf thing. <laughs> it... I missed the hole. Hang on. There we go. Nope. It's what she said. You know what? what? Oh, and I deserve that. It's a seven. You you okay. also try. You get your hands upon it and go. Nothing. No, with my modifier, that's the same thing I rolled. Oh no! I'm like, ah, oh, fucking Mondays, and walk away. I'm, I'm, I'm just looking. Kevin, at them, like, Kevin, I, I, dog guess, out. I guess I'll try. Do? Cassie, Cassie, how about we both do it together? Maybe we might <laughs> budge. Cal goes, no, wait, now hold on. Let's see, let's see if Cassie can do it by herself first. <laughs> I want to see this for science. <laughs> Give me a strength check. Twelve. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, this axe is gonna be friggin' our door like critical role, like Vox Moxina. We're like over here wasting all this time on the axe in the dirt on the side of a volcano. Fucking Satan's over here raising a mystery tower, though. <laughs> <laughs> They're turning to try now. <laughs> Alright. I guess if we're all giving it a go. Oh, fuck. I'm going to roll that 20, please. Please. Are you kidding me? What? Are you kidding? What? 17. <laughs> fucking 17. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> oh, you rolled a 17. Check it, bro. Check it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Another hour. He did. 
He did it. He pulled it. He did it. And he did it with ease. <laughs> what the fuck? A little four, four foot owl in with this like. <laughs> this seven and a half foot great axe. <laughs> Okay, all right, as you pull it out, <laughs> it's rusted. <laughs> and you can think. Hello, can you take that maybe off of Sanford's hands before he hurts himself? I'm scared he oh, might break the wing. That. Yeah, sure, I can do that. The, the tiny owl picked up with the... <laughs> I'm like waving it around like that. <laughs> Is he doing like the whole like leaning tower thing as he's waving it around, like kind of leaning way <laughs> over in each direction? Uh, <laughs> um, so it's it's, it's rusted. Um, yeah. I, um, should I should I attempt mending on it again? I don't know if it would do much, but I could try. You can certainly try. So you might, ask it mending. might not do anything because mending fixes breaks. But I still try anyways. Yeah, still go for it. <laughs> Excuse me, hold on. Ow, Cash Mandy. Okay. What What are you doing? Putting more purple on. Yeah, be shitting me. <laughs> this is mine. I picked it up. It's mine. You casted mending and it restores it a hundred percent. It looks brand new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can hold on to this for Badass then. Whenever, wherever they went. Yeah, you could. Oh, and I don't hold on to it. I can use these. <laughs> this the sword you're gonna... will have his sword out. <laughs> it's in his sheath. Oh, it's in the sheath. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. But I can. I could use great axes. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, now yeah. this is more comical. A three I'm foot going... owlin <laughs> with a seven foot great axe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I I mean technically I could. This great axe is meant for fucking Goliaths! I wanna see what happens. And you can thank Thomas TV for that, because he redeemed e random item! Hey, even if I have to roll disadvantage, I would still love to try it. Oh my god, I'm sweating. This is amazing. Hold on, hold on. I picked the axe drowned. If you're going to take it from me, at least I get to aim the Oh, you get your neighbor, to, your neighbor to wait, friend. Take a close All right. Look at it. Get Here you go. I dub the Barney, and I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ, I can't with people. Oh my fucking god. Um, <laughs> I can't quit laughing. Fuck you guys. Um... <laughs> Named I name it Tractor because it is unscuffable. The Tractor! Tractor because it's unscuffable, is that what you said? Stoppable. It's unstoppable, okay. Tractor or Twactor? Ooh, Twack. I have a little act time. Yes! Comes off as twack. <laughs> Can it be like just magically engraved in the side as I said it and I couldn't like my axe, so it just out as Twactor and spelled Twactor side. Oh my god. <laughs> well, tractor, tractor, one or the other. King Christ, okay. Um, it's a tractor. It's a tractor. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, so you guys continue your walk. Um, as you start making your way around. Yeah, this oh. is just like a standard great axe. Yes, it's just standard great X. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> about ten so, minutes. So, who's carrying the seven-foot axe on the? <laughs> it's dragging on the ground. Soul's <laughs> back. Like the head of it is just mulling the dirt behind you. <laughs> like, it's like, what the hell is going on? Oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, I'm yeah. crying. I don't know what to do. 
Okay. <laughs> so about ten minutes go on, and you hear. <laughs> And that is where we're going to take a quick break. Oh, y'all are too much. <laughs> Guys, we're going to take a quick five minute break and we'll be back. About, I don't know, five minutes. Uh, guys, just let me know when you're back and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on music and turn on my new screen that I made. Um, so yeah, we'll be right back, guys. Hold tight. And we'll see you guys in a second. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. We are back and back to our story. Um, so real quickly. Uh, yeah, you guys heard a <laughs> sound like it came from up in the tree. Well, I'm no. gonna look and see if I can see where it's coming from. Left. Well, I think before this gets out of hand and realizing how big this axe is, I'm going to give it back to Carlo. Wait, we're we're on a volcanic island, right? Like, it's not that many trees. As you guys continue to look through the trees, um, Cassie, give me perception. Okay. Nineteen. Ooh, you're good. Okay. As you look up, you see what looks like to be a elderly man. With a top hat, um, a piccolo in his hand, and you see gray hair, but it's not like combed or anything. It looks like it's going straight out. Like you see it straight out from the from the hat as it goes in both left and right directions. Um, he has this kind of like almost this worn nobleman's jacket on, um, stuff like that. And he seems to just be sitting on one of the branches, kicking his feet back and forth. Billy. Yes. Are you talking about the traveler from Smosh? Oh, look, Billy, sex face. <laughs> I hate this fucking campaign. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, at least we got to see the face that Allie loves. Oh, shit, you're right. Well, you know what? I'm just going to fully fucking embrace it. Yes! Mori, it is! Damn it. Cool, we have Shane Topner in our campaign now. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. Trust me, you don't I'm want to. No loss as well. <laughs> Damn it. But yeah, For reference, I'll just DM you guys a YouTube video. It's Christ. He's kicking his feet back and forth. <laughs> Holding on to fuck you oh my god i didn't think about this okay um yeah he's kicking swaying back and forth and he looks down and sees you guys and he jumps out of the tree lands right on his feet he goes hello there and who might you be <clears throat> you hear him blow like six notes into the piccolo Oh my god. Some people call me the Traveler, but others know me as, um, 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 Ericus, yes. Ericus. Ericus, yes. Yeah, I say my name fully. Ericus, yes. <laughs> Just for the record, I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of something to say that brings that point across. So what you're saying is your your full name, if I'm not, correct me if I'm wrong, is Ericus Yes? No, it's Ericus Yes! One word! <laughs> uh, yes. it. <laughs> it's not that hard of a concept, people. It's one fucking word. Ericus Yes, we've had somewhat of a day. If you would be so kind, sir, state your intention, or we might smite you. Oh, okay, well, no need to be so hostile there, Owlin. <laughs> I am merely here, I travel between the multiverses. And this is so heaven where I live, so technically you're in my home. <laughs> well, if this is your home, it is under threat. Um, perhaps so you can either help us, or at least give us a tip. 
Here's a tip. He pull, pulls out a coin and throws a coin at you. Um, as the coin lands in your hand, it's chocolate. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> that was not the tip I referred to. So, where are you travelers heading off to? I'm going to take a bite out of the chocolate coin and go, you'll see this, thing, this, this ziggurat or whatever coming out of the ocean. We are trying to stop this. Uh, there is this potential ritual site uh, the other side of the volcano. So we are trying to get over there and hopefully end whatever's going on. Oh, so you're trying to stop from that earth penis. I got you. Okay, yes. All right. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Well, it's a dangerous road to be traveling alone. <laughs> Did the little creepy old man say, just say, penis? He said, earth penis, yes. I need to go back to bed today. <sighs> the way he said it, so unenthusiastically. <laughs> oh. Yes, yeah, so, well, do you have a way that you might be able to stop, or help us stop this, to protect your home, or what you're calling your home? Hell if I know, I just got here. What do you mean by just got here? Well, I went through a portal and here I am. If I could give you one recommendation, uh, if we go back through the same portal. Yeah, it doesn't quite work like that. They just appear and I walk through. Hence, some people call me the Traveler. Just walk through without knowing what's on the other side. That's right. And then and I claim that place as my home. That just keeps working out for you. Oh, it has! Every time. every time! It's uncanny how much it works out every time. Well, I look forward to seeing how long it works out for you this time. <laughs> well, maybe we'll see each other again then, huh? <laughs> just be careful down the road! Any Ditor have passed through here but never return! See you later, assholes! And he just walks off. Uh, I, I'm gonna look at everyone and be like, uh, did, did anyone else notice, um, he sounded very unusually similar to Mr. Midnight? Yes. A soul? Yeah. Can you give me a constitution saving throw? <laughs> As I ask, yeah. how's the chocolate? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> uh, this is um a sixteen. Okay, you're okay. Um, uh, yeah. <clears throat> you, you, <laughs> you think or thought you were about to get food poisoning, but then you just hurled into some bushes, and but you're good. It's a well past expiration date. Wait, can birds actually throw up? Yeah, yeah we regurgitate. Yeah. yeah. This comes back as Especially, like just melted chocolate. <laughs> Especially owls. Yeah. Yeah. We eat our, you know, lost Tony all and... Yeah. You're really good at it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that was a, probably one of the best creatures at throwing things up. I mean, they eat, the, they eat some mice, and the next thing you know, oh, so it's bones and hair. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> we find ourselves having one too many out at uh, the local club, you know? Uh, they, they need to get it out. For the visual. They, yeah. Cassie, yeah, don't worry about it. They've been into the bird bath water again. Don't don't worry about it. They'll be you okay. See what the, you should see what the female owls do to keep the figure. And Hello. chat, and chat. This is what we call strange and random encounters. <laughs> but anyways, um, carry on. Okay. <clears throat> so as you guys keep walking, <laughs> God. Um. Oh jeez. Say about another f okay about another 68 minutes go by and you can see the port of entry um on where the magic is being focused from it's about 95 feet up in the air inside of the, the volcano oh uh, what does the cliff face look like leading towards it um as you walk up you you notice like it's just a straight wall Great wall, two, two, five two feet tall. Can, yeah, yeah, two of us can get upset quite easily. Uh, 
What are you talking about? It's just barely shorter than I am. 95? You are not 95 feet tall. <laughs> 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 I don't want to know what you thought you <laughs> Yeah, it is at least, oh, uh, what is this, uh, 19 of you? I need I to know, I five. need to know. I only oh, heard yeah. five. Oh my fucking god! I love this campaign! Oh, jeez. This is great DMing! Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, Cassie. 95! <laughs> Just a hop and a skip. <laughs> I thought I was having a bad day. Yeah, it'll just take only about uh, so roughly what is it? Uh, Nine seconds for us hours to get up, so roughly, hmm? probably less. Um, Savage. Something like that. No, no, it actually no, take a little bit longer. Um, but uh, do if we have enough rope, perhaps both of us can fly up. Reinforce a rope and uh, throw it down for the others. We've got arrows. You could always make some extra. Handle. The rock That's... face. I'm sorry, you're, you're, you're cutting out. I was just saying, I've got extra arrows. You can always throw some into the rock face with some handles if needed. <clears throat> I think I know. I have, I have a rope uh, d just shy of 50 feet. If anybody else has a second rope, we could tie them together. I have a crossbow as well that we could help shoot the ropes. Why would we need to shoot the ropes? We have wings. I'm just gonna go sit over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, but, but for real, oh, does anybody have a second rope? Hmm. Calla goes. I don't have rope, but I have chain. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I have, I have an idea. So three of us can fly up. One of us I, cannot. I two, have, two. Three I of have us cannot. We do have Kahlo and Kolos we're talking about here too. What do you mean I can't? You see the werewolf start climbing yeah. like a fucking spider uh, up the wall. <laughs> um, yeah, only me that I, can't fly. I only said you can't fly. Lord, Lord I would recommend just jumping on his back. <laughs> Alos, can you stop for a minute? Yeah, he's he's only like two and a half feet off the ground. <laughs> Don't mind me, and I just kind of try and climb onto his back. Oh, uh, give me, oh boy, okay, uh, give me a strength check. Oh, I knew this was coming. <laughs> Why did you? Oh, come on. Nine. As you start climbing onto his back, you accidentally rip fur off his oh, hand no. before landing back on your feet. And as he just shrugs his shoulders, he, he looks back over at you and you just see the lightning in his mouth and in his eyes, but that's all he shows <laughs> as he's hanging off the side of the wall. Um, Good boy. We should, we should. Just to practice. Huh? <sighs> You'll grow it back. Flicker. I want to... <clears throat> what do you think, uh, Gallo, you might be a bit too heavy for us, or for the rope, and how long is your chain? Um, well, before it was only about 20 feet. I don't know what it is now with this new body. He said, uh, it's just easier if I do this. You hear, kink, 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 as his hand opens up, and you see, like, some, ro some uh, chain. He goes, just grab a hold of this and see how high you can fly up with it. Okay. And I'll start carrying it up to the mouth of the cave. To as, see how far it can get. As here, just unraveling <laughs> out of his body. And he goes up 20 feet, 30 feet, 60 feet. Oh my god, he's at 95 feet. It uh, made it all the way. Okay, though. Know that's good. Is there something I can secure it to up here? Uh, you do see a boulder near the, uh, the, the entrance. Okay. I will, uh, wrap it around the boulder and, uh, use the rope to kind of try to tie the ends of the chain together. So, as you do that, the rope... Like, like, ripple layering the rope. 
Do what? Like, doubling up the rope so it's not just a single strand. Okay. So as you do that, you do notice that the rope comes purple and metal. <laughs> it, it pretty much, like, made a... Fo it forged it together. What? From the boulder? Yes. The boulder is now fucking metal! Um... <laughs> it's not just a boulder. It's a rock. It's a rock. It's a rock. <laughs> well, there goes my rope. I'm gonna wild shape into a squirrel and just go right up the chain. Yep, you do just fine. Uh, you make it to the top, uh, and you, know what? you notice that the boulder is now um the 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 purple metal ore. <laughs> did we do? Yeah, I'm gonna pop out a wild shape and I'm just gonna look at Sol and be like, what? Sol, what did you do? What? How, I, how did you do this? What did you do? I just uh, tried to tie the chain around the boulder and secure point. That's it. <laughs> <sighs> but now everybody can come up. Yeah, they can, everyone can start climbing now. Put a shit shot down to the rest. Well, uh, come on up. I'm scared to try and start climbing. I'm just gonna <laughs> flap up there. <laughs> so, you're, just, you're just turning everything purple now, huh? Well, apparently, um, this stuff is, uh, something else. You see, uh, Coloss reach the top. I did not need that chain. I'm a good boy. Yes, you're such a good boy, Colossus. <laughs> and he reaches the top with these. Um, about five, a very good boy. <laughs> about five, six minutes later, you look down. Lore's making his way. He's almost at the top. Um, a couple minutes go by, and he reaches the top as well. <laughs> and you hear from Colo. Um. Okay, I don't think I can break this off, but. I'm just gonna climb up. You see him like put his feet kong, kong, right onto the side and starts reeling in the chain back into his body, which is hoisting him up to you guys. Yeah, like a reverse fishing situation. Are are there any sticks around here? Uh no. Doesn't appear to be. Dang it. I wanted to poke it with a stick. <laughs> oh my god! Um, about Cassie, what you doing? I I was I wanted a stick so I could poke the what? rock. If you happen to have an unlit torch, I pan Cassie my quarter staff. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh shit! No, oh, no, okay. All right. Well, oh. here we go. Here's a stick. <laughs> and I just like thunk against. This, uh, against the boulder. Oh. And then I let it go. <laughs> the boulder that's supporting the steel cable supporting our friend that's a metal robot. <laughs> oh, jeez. You said you strike it with a fucking staff. Yes. You couldn't have waited till he reached the top. <sighs> okay. When you pull it back out, part of it comes off with you. Uh, and you're now stuck in a trance. Cassie? You, you okay? Cassie, Cass see almost like a purple void with stars in it. <clears throat> you look around. It's empty space everywhere. Pretty. She's having one of those talk to rock. It is, isn't it? You, you turn around and you see this what looks like a purple humanoid woman with robes upon her and she looks to have a hood up walks beside you welcome uh, how have you um well you see we climbed up a really big wall and then I hit a rock with a stick. Hmm. Obviously, we both 
that wasn't a Apparently. And and who who might you be? I am Alina. You are in my domain. Um, am am I safe here, or, or no, should you're I be safe? No, no harm shall come upon you. But this, you are attuning to a well, new instrument you now have. A, a, a new instrument. A new instrument. Like a guitar, or or an or or a flute, or. She punched what? a boulder and went into a. A mage's staff. Okay, but the thing is, is that it wasn't my staff that I used. It is now. Oh. And you see it appear into your hands. Out of thin air. Um, uh. She looks at you and smiles. And goes... But she also talks to Rox. <laughs> I think he's explaining to his friends. Okay. It's just, oh. it's just so fucking comical. <laughs> like, on the outside. <laughs> like, they're discussing what's going on with Cassie. He's like, she also talks to Rox. Like, <laughs> trying to tell this patron what's going on. <laughs> oh, great. Um, but yeah. She, she goes, you will be able to use this weapon, item, whoever its previous owner was, or if they are attempting to touch this, then they will too turn purple. So what you're saying is that if anyone tries to steal it, then I'll know who's, who exactly tried to steal it. Exactly, because they'll be, well, metal. Oh. I may have to tell Lord that he's not getting his staff back. That would be wise of you. How do you know my name? I don't remember giving it to you. I am the goddess of the world. I know everything. Anywhere where my metal is at, I know of. And trust mm. me, the metal is everything. Oh, okay. I would like you to join Army of the Void. This is a good gift I offer you. Am I able to think about this? Of course. Whatever you need to. On your news. All right. And I will see you very soon, I feel. And she gives you a smile. He goes, now, return and get rid of the damn demons. Mm -hmm. And you snap out of the trance. Um, so... Lord, I'm sorry. Um, um. So, um, about the about the staff. Um, you can't have it back. What? <laughs> Why? Um. Well, you see, I went into like this this plane of existence in the dual world void, and then there was this lady. Mine. You can't touch it. You'll turn purple and into stone. Oh, fucking Linda. <laughs> it wasn't Linda. Have we, have we actually... Have staff back? <laughs> I do have... have Give him the staff I back. I have a quarter staff. And that... then I pull, like, my quarter staff from my back, and I just <laughs> hand it to him. Like, we can have this one. Well, why, why didn't you use your own quarter staff? You were looking for a stick. Because I didn't know what was going to happen to it. But my staff has, like, my finger poles and stuff in it. Like, it's molded to my fingers. What's the difference? The difference is it wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, like, I want to lean over to Soul and be like, just whisper in his ear. Have we completely confirmed his sanity? Well, in order for this to be sanity, there was first 
I guess I don't I don't know. <laughs> Give him the void staff back. <laughs> Shut up, Orlando. Oh, fine, and I'll just grab Cassie's staff. <clears throat> Cassie, are you sure you're okay? We've seen you talk to rocks before, but this is this is a little bigger than a rock you hide in your bag. <laughs> Linda, shut up. Um, yeah, this time it was actually I like I said I was in a plane. I was in in this void plane. There were stars. There was purple. There was a lady in robes. Lady in robes. Mm hmm. Good. Um. Guys? Yeah. Yes. Um, you know Cassie's obsession with rocks? Yeah. Yeah. Painfully. You know how when you get a sword and it's rusty and then you see a nice shinier sword so you kind of trade up to a bigger, better sword? I, I, I think Cassie's kind of outgrowing her little rocks and is now talking to bigger rocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what this is. Can the bigger rocks help you like a shinier sword would? No. Mm, the... Okay. Okay, and then I... I'm going to peek over the edge to see how far Kalo is up. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to turn our... away from the conversation <laughs> and make sure we're okay on this cliff face now. Um, yeah. As... Without saying anything to anybody, can I do an arcana check on the staff to see if it's actually magical now? Yes, go for it. Um, and while he's doing that, you look over and you, you see, like, <laughs> Callow is, like, a foot away from your face. <laughs> oh, shit. And I think I made it. <laughs> and he climbs up and he reels in some more chain. He goes, oh, okay, well, this is a predicament. Uh, yeah, so you see, I tried to do this, um, to connect the rope, to tie it together, and this is what happened. Hmm. Okay, well, let me see if I could just... <clears throat> and he starts pulling on it, on the chain. And he pulls... You see his mechanical arms, like... You can see the hydraulic systems, like, building themselves up. And with one good pull, you just hear... <clears throat> and he breaks the metal. <laughs> it looks like he has a goddamn morning star on him. I was That's what I was thinking. I was like, wait. He's it's like, well, just a giant chain. Yeah. Like, well, this may be in handy. Who knows? All right. That's our kind of check. Yes. Said, what was it? Whisper? Lower. Yeah. Yeah, it was 10. Um, From what you can gather, it looks like you that it could be a void staff. Um, It could be used as a weapon or a mode of transport. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep that to myself for now. Okay. Shall <clears throat> yeah, we continue? Yeah, I'm gonna look around the the area that we now have been, and no one's looked around this whole time to make sure there's nothing like approaching us or. Yeah, as you hilarious that they were watching. You look behind you and you don't see anything, but you do hear murmurs in the distance. As you guys continue on further, um, following the trail of magic, and you see yourself inside of a reinforced room. Oh, fuck, I forgot to put you guys over here. Shit, not again. Hold on. <laughs> oh, good thing I don't have this pulled up on stream yet. <laughs> Him out. Just put us all together. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna Flipped do. all. Oh fuck it. <laughs> Poppy. Got me pasta. Based. Oh fuck. <laughs> that looks like a stressed look on Billy's no, face. I hear it now. Give 
Give me one moment, guys. I'm fixing something. There we go. Perfect. Now let me blow this up on stream for everybody to see. Put <clears throat> Wunderlich. There we go. Okay, do I have everyone? Hmm? Oh, lore. Lore. Where's Hold lore? on. Give me a second. Back. Oh, right, because he wasn't on that map. No, that was. How far back was well, he? Not either. Pay no attention. The void crystals are making you guys go through time and space super fucking quick. <laughs> Here's lore. Okay. Are you fucking. You gotta bring Callow over too. I did. Callow's there. Okay. Puppy. Perfect. Okay, now the whole gang's all here. Woo. Um, you do hear, and Callow can kind of see uh, four people in the room. Whew. Do we, uh, when we're standing, does it look like another sacrificial ritual, or...? Um, no, it doesn't really look like that. Not this time. Okay. How's the plan of action, everyone? You can tell that up ahead you do see, uh, Callow whispers back to you guys, Okay. Looks like that there's three wizards in the room. It looks like a dragonborn with a with a black sword. Dragonborn with a black sword. What yeah. Is it, uh, Callow, you and I arrest the dragonborn. The others take out the wizards. Yeah, that's a good point. If, if we can get them think? distracted and get the um, if we can get the <laughs> two wizards on both sides, looking at us. They can go ahead and sneak in and start attacking immediately. Yes, I'm on board with this. We should try to take out the wizards first. But first, does someone have the gold loot? Oh, so it's the gold... It's a, it's a fiddle? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, Sanford had it. I have it? Oh, oh yes, I do. I do have it, yes. Okay, what about it? Pass it up to me real quick. I have an idea. All right, here you go. All right, I'll thank you. <laughs> okay. So, follow my lead, okay? Yeah. We'll make that wait, proud. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, Cal, real quick, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you lose that, I'm going to sell you for scrap. <laughs> okay, that's a good motive. I got you. Okay. Okay, okay. And break. Okay. So I'll just follow my lead, okay? And he goes, he gets up to here, and you're just kind of like five feet behind him, still kind of shrouded in the, the darkened hallway. <laughs> you hear him go... Ah, so this is the grand party. The dragonborn looks, and so does the other two wizards on each side. And he goes, ha ha. Okay. What a crowd we have today. And can I just say that this is a great crowd while he's doing this, Soul you Glitch up on this corner. And, um, um, Gloss on that corner. Uh, what? Oh my god. Helena, you, you start seeing her doing some magic things in her hands while he's doing this, okay? And he goes, oh, okay. I can tell you're, uh, you're, you're not really looking for um, a good time, huh, sir? <clears throat> what are you doing here? And he draws his blade. He's like, oh, no need to be hostile. And he's going to do a performance check. Yeah, it's wants to be difficult, don't it? He goes, oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ding. Seize him. Do what you see these two start walking in. They get about right here. Soul, you have an opportunity to attack. Oh, yeah. Well, I, send, uh, I want to throw a uh, firebolt. Make it easy. All right. He's a firebolt, correct? Yeah. 
Firebolt. Right. Ah, nope. That's a six. <laughs> okay. Right. As you cast Firebolt, it whizzes past the one. He's alerted. Everybody roll initiative. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. I turn over a sheet at. Uh, 19. Okay, who had the highest? 18. I had 19. 19. No one got 20? No. Roll two. Hold on. Okay. So 19 was Stanford. Stanford, yes. All right. Turn over. Forget. It's been a little uh, <laughs> Yep. Got it. Bad turn. Oh, hold on. I gotta zoom back out. Oh my god. How far does this want me to zoom out? Hold on. I'm just gonna move you real quick. There we go. Okay, so Sanford. All right. Is that the next highest? Lower. 18. Lower. Okay. Can anyone be a 16? Nope. I had 18. I know. I already got you on there. Okay. Yeah. So no one can be a 16. Okay. Uh, 15. Okay. <laughs> Cassie, what did you get? 14. Okay, so then... Oop. My bad. <laughs> Alright. And... 13. So, what did you roll? Six. Uh, okay. So, I'm doing a lot. Jesus Christ. Did you need to roll for your. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's everybody. Oh, Holy Jesus Christ. Let's zoom back in onto the table. <laughs> All right, Sanford, you're up. All right, all right, all right. Um, let's see. All the way tucked back in here. So, can I, like, just pass by Cassie, right? Like, it's not like I'm actually stuck back there, right? So, right. One. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's get up and around that corner a few to straight up line up with that wizard on the left. So we're kind of like right here, and then left too, if I can. Thirty puts you right here. All right, that's good. Okay. And um, you're targeting this I, one. Yeah. Do I know anything about these objects that are around here? These glowing rune per, uh, things, tables. Your senses tell you not to touch them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> They're, they're glowing with some sort of energy that is nefarious, I'm assuming. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, knock one and, and fire it at the wizard. Um, action. Do, do, do. Longbow to hit. Yeah. Ten. Uh, does not hit. No. Oh. All right. Um, and I get that bonus action with my crossbow, right? My, my handheld crossbow? Yes. Um, well, it's worked before and it's done something. I'm going to shoot it at this <laughs> runic table. 
this this magical table that the wizards were messing with. <laughs> okay. If wizards are messing with it, chances are it's not a good thing. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, crossbow hit eight. Um, you fire and it does not hit. Ah. All right. Yeah. That was you missed something standing still. So that was what? Sanford. Floor. <laughs> uh, I'm going to walk straight ahead 30 feet. And I'm going to release uh, Scorching Ray. Okay. Uh, so it does two bolts, right? Three bolts. You can raise a fire. Create three rays. Three. So I'm going to send two at the if you're looking from my direction two at the one on the right this one yeah okay and one on the left okay go for it we'll do the one on oh, the right first oh your three hits Ooh. natural 20 <gasps> you crit so it's double damage all right okay. yeah so oh crap so oh, whatever you rolled plus that. So it's 2d6 times 2, right? Yes. Uh, 20 damage. Ooh. I rolled a 6 and a 4. Good lord! Okay, so with one shot... I'm two, making two up shots. for all the other knights. <laughs> so two shots hit him. Boom! Boom! Daggers him a little bit. He ain't doing hot. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and target the other one for you. Well, that would just be one, wouldn't it? Because I have to roll for each ray to hit. You already did two rays on this one, right? That was for, He rolled for the first ray. Oh, okay, go ahead yeah, and do your second ray. ray. I, that was just the first ray, 20 damage. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have to roll individually for each All right. ray. Yeah, I gotcha. I thought you stacked them for whatever reason. I don't know why. No, this one isn't going to hit. This is just a 6 plus 5, 11. Yeah, that one misses. So you shoot it, and because of him, he staggered a little bit. It... it Whiz right past him. Okay, and then the last ray. Yeah. Uh, 11 plus 5, 16. That hits. And 7 damage. Hell yeah. I gotta love those spells that hit multiple times. Oh yeah. Yep. Alright, so that's lore. Next is this one. And he's going to... <laughs> Shit. You see you see his hands start moving around. And after a few seconds <laughs> oh, fuck. Um you three what looks like projectiles shoot at you, Lore. What is your armor class? Thirteen. A nat twenty. That's gonna hurt. Oh okay. Hold on, let me grab my deck. Come on, there we go. Oh, fuck. 19 damage. That hurt. I'm still up. Okay. <laughs> and this one's also going to go ahead and move 10 feet backwards. Next is the goodest boy. As you see him in his werewolf form starts charging towards this guy. Five, he charges at him. You notice that his entire body becomes purple again. And he opens up his mouth to go in for a bite, which now look like metal shards of teeth. And that's an 18 to hit. Hell yeah. Taking a big old chunk right out of this wizard. For nine damage. Next is Cassie. I'm gonna move up right behind Lore and use Cure Wounds at second level on him. At second level? Okay, go for it. 
10 back. Nice. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, thank you, Cassie. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Okay, good. Heal him for 10. Cool. All right. And that's all you're going to do, right? Yep. Okay. Callow's turn to play. <laughs> he walks 5, 10 feet. Time to test this new body out. See him give some chain away as he starts spinning it up and goes to strike the wizard directly in front of him. Yep. 16. That hits. Hmm. Oh, the thing would be pretty. Oh, I got to allocate for thunder damage. Fuck. Oh, shit. How much damage does he do now? 3d6. What? what? Eight damage. Hits him for eight. Oh, he ain't looking good. It looks like his whole body just got caved in. Oof. That one's hurting. Okay. So next is next enemy is this guy. He's gonna he doesn't feel quite right. Where the bite was at, he starts turning metal. His AC oh. just rose. <laughs> It rose by one. But he's going to lay burning hands on Kalo. However. Don't you mean Colos? Sorry. Oh my god. Colos. <laughs> the, the names are similar again. I know. Um, Colos, as a reaction, brings up his protection spell from his rune. Oh fuck, and that was an 18 to hit. He goes to lay the burning hands upon him, okay? The energy from that is stored onto the protection as if it was like mage shield or mage armor. Works its way through and uses its kinetic energy to bounce back at the wizard. For four fire damage. Yes. Oh my hands! Okay. Next, we have Soul. Okay. Uh, I'd like to step forward uh, about 20 feet. Uh, also, uh, I'm going to throw a healing word, a uh, bonus action, at uh, Lore. Okay. Yeah, this is the range bonus action heal. Uh, Where's that D6? Never took that one up. Okay, we'll just this one then. That's at first level. Three more points of healing back to him. Thank nice. You. <clears throat> um, then as an action, uh, let's. Uh, well, let's let's toll the dead, the one that pretty much caved in. So this guy here. Yeah, he'll be making a saving throw. Here. All right. You see? Um, wisdom saving throw because 12. Okay. 13. Shit. That dude doesn't do anything. 11 plus 2. Balls. Well, that's yeah, my turn. Okay. The Dragonborn is up next. There. I couldn't turn him, it wouldn't allow me earlier. <laughs> You see him disappear. Oh, fuck. But you don't know where you went. And that's its turn. Next. Helena. What's the worst thing I could say? I'm sorry. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> Just for the record, I hate it here. <laughs> you hear her murmuring and the guy in front of her starts tightening up as if he, the life is being sucked out of him and you see this ray starts peering through he has to make a constitution saving throw it failed okay 
So the life energy that she's dragging out of him heals three points of damage, rendering him dead, and those three points are converted to health, and it gets launched over at Lore. Hey, it's all the healing at Lore. Good, because I needed it. <laughs> <laughs> so three, you said? Yes. Okay, thank you. This guy here is... Fuck. Dead, dead. Shall not return. Okay. So he's gone. And that was her turn. Next. Oh, shit, it's this one. Thirty. He looks upon Soul. And he, too, no. tries to launch three blasts at Soul. against an 18. Uh, it does not hit. You're good. Roll to 14. <laughs> it's the shield. What more do you have? <laughs> Sanford, you're up. All right. Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Redemption arc, let's go. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I'm going to keep aiming at the same guy and um this time uh i'm gonna go ahead and do my ice arrows perfect and we're gonna fire at him see if we can hit 16 that hits right yep, that hits all right so Piercing damage eight, Coloss Colossus Slayer two for ten, and then the ice damage is what another six? Yes. For a ten plus physically roll that. Uh one. So eleven damage. Right on eleven, how do you want to do this? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so I, can I wrap Coloss into this a little bit. Yeah, I'm go for it. Up. Yeah. All right. All right. So I'm going to, from this angle, fire an ice arrow. And I want it to strike through both his knees and freeze them and break off his legs at his knees. So he falls down to the ground and just be like, Coloss, finish him. And I have a Coloss just like reach down and just take a chunk out of his neck and just throw him around. <laughs> you guys got no legs. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. I love it. <laughs> I'm here for it. Gloss <laughs> takes his newfound um, abilities, if you will, or claws, and thrashes him right in between into the neck, and the head just rolls away. <clears throat> and that's Sanford's turn. Jesus fucking Christ. That was glorious. It was like my favorite part of the whole game was when it gets to kill some people. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I love your creativity. Oh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Next is lore. All right. I'm going to move ahead uh, about 20 feet, 10, 15 feet, just so I clear Saul. Yep. Yep. And the wizard that's left... I'm going to launch uh, three more Scorching Rays at him. Oh, go for it. Honey, I'm all about this tonight. Let's go. That's a seven. That one doesn't hit. Oh. Uh, 23. <laughs> That's a hit. <laughs> uh, seven points of damage. Nice. And the last ray... Mm -hmm. 20. Na not natural. Okay. 30. 30-20. And that's five points of damage. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Next up. Oh, he dead as hell. Boss. <clears throat> Charges. And he's going to grapple. And he succeeds. He has this man snatched up. <laughs> Agile F, Agile Kids. Oh boy. 
he lifts him up into the air and he moves his arms just right that way someone can get a strike on him with advantage next up is Cassie um I'm just going to move 15 feet forward and I'm just that's all I'm going to do for my turn okay next Aloe Aloe's going in hard blade shoots out of his off the top arm of his forearm and he it looks like he's gonna go in and he does have advantage you stab this guy <laughs> Fuck yeah, good thing i rolled because the first one was a one the other one was a 17 let's go <laughs> oh shit and i got damage seven Oh, fuck. Seven lightning damage. Ayo. You see... Okay, so with... That, oh, fuck. That seven lightning damage, it arcs and hits... Um... Coloss as well. But it seems to be powering Coloss up even more. Ooh. Perfect. Okay. Next up. Oh, he did his hail. Soul, you're up. Okay. I would like to uh, draw my sword and take the space opposite of Coloss. Opposite of Coloss. Right here. Got it. Yep. Yeah. And uh, take a swings with the sword. <laughs> Go for it. With, with the new fancy sword. Is this with advantage as well? Yes. Oh, well, that's a nat 20. <gasps> Don't forget to add 1d6 lightning damage. Add 1d6 to your base weapon. Let's, let's go. I love you too, Ali. And is the lightning damage doubled as well? Yes. Oh, shit. So roll all your damage oh, and then double it. Garbage roll. Roll the one and a two. What? I rolled the one and a two. Um... Plus one, so that's only eight points of damage on a nat twenty. Ouch! A damn it. Um. <laughs> however, I will take uh, one way charges of war priest and make another attack. Yep. For my bonus action. Um, that will be an uh, seventeen to hit. That hits. Still the same dice. Yep. Fuck you, that's only three points of damage. How do you want to do this? Oh, hey, it was enough, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, it adds up. <laughs> um, so I'll take the, the two slashes. Um, the first one just going across the uh, the wizard's chest, and the second one um, coming low and doing it upward slash up through his groin. <laughs> oh! Right in the no-no square. <laughs> Yeah, he dead. But why did you take advantage of my height to do that? <laughs> Meanwhile, here <laughs> it reappears at the entrance. Enjoy your grave. And you see in his hand one of the crystals that he agitates. Or not the crystals, I'm sorry, but pieces of metal that you guys left on the outside. He agitates it and makes the walls crumble down, sealing you guys inside this room. Mm. Uh, this can't be good. Is this is trouble. Uh, are we still in the combat? Yeah, no, you're out of combat now. Okay. Um, I loot the wizards. <laughs> 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 Of course he does. Uh, what I said, I'd like to take a uh, closer look around to our surroundings in the room that we are in. Um, yeah. So there's three tables, as you can see on the map, but what you can't see is past this table, there is a dark altar with all sorts of things upon it. And Sanford, you said you're looting the bodies? Of course. Oh, fuck. Okay, you find a very... On one... The, the, oh, Jesus Christ. So you go up to the body that you sniped. Um, 
and you start rummaging through, you find a bag on him that has a face on it. Hmm. This looks fun. <laughs> you, you finding something interesting over there, Sanford? Yes, I found a bag with a face on it, but I have the very bad... Uh, I, I just worry that it's an actual face. Um, I'm going to draw my sword and flick the, the lid of the bag open to see what's inside. You flip the bag open and give me a perception check. Ooh. Perception. Twelve. As you look inside, it looks like the bag is never ending. You find swords, very large items stuffed inside this bag. All sorts of different baubles and gadgets and gizmos or whatever. But it seems to be uh, never ending. Gonna bend down and pick it up and peek inside a little closer. This is a very interesting bag I have here. As you do, you go ahead and reach your hand in to grab something. And you end up pulling out a great sword that's way too big for the bag. Hey, I bet this will fetch a nice piece, this sword. While this, while Sanford is rooting through the bag, can I start walking towards the table that's directly in front of me and just kind of examine it, see what's going on? This table, or do you mean yeah. the altar? The glowing one. Okay, gotcha. So, you see a bunch of runes on there, carved out with, like, this, this what, what appears to be, like, a blue dye. Um, not really sure what it is, but you see the magic around it, um, is actual fire. Uh, other than that, there's not really much else to tell. Did they, did, did we, did, is there any kind of change in the room once the door was collapsed or anything? Nope, the magic seems to be still finding a way out. Can I tell what kind of magic is coming from the table? Uh, give me an arcana check. Uh, 15. Um, summoning. Hmm. Uh, Seems like there's some kind of summoning magic around this table. Allo goes, could you explain why that, that, um, what that gentleman referred to as a <clears throat> earth penis is uh growing you know mm. that, this could be one of the things that is helping it materialize i'm gonna regret this but since oh no i do have a core okay i'm gonna take the quarter staff that cassie gave me yeah and just kind of reach out and touch the table to see if anything happens or anything anything happens Armor class, please. 13. 19. Okay. That's gonna hurt. <clears throat> oh, you keep touching things, it always hurts you. It's so, the first thing I touched tonight. as you touched it, <laughs> the fire. I said, to, I grabbed, said tonight, keyword. <laughs> the fire grabs a hold of it and burns it. But there is a magical force. Oh, boy. <laughs> You take three damage. <laughs> oh, that's not as bad as I thought. No, you're yeah. good. I rolled really bad. Um, you keep talking about earth penises and growing, and all I can think is the great erection. <sighs> they were. Perhaps a great res erection. <laughs> I suggest not touching the <sighs> tables. They're a little hard. And then I'm just going to walk towards the altar. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, you make your way to the, to the altar. <clears throat> you see tainted blood on it everywhere. Um, a couple books, a black lamp, a skull, and what looks like a, a crystal orb. Hmm. <clears throat> Right. Some go interesting items over here. Uh, I'd, I'd like to go up and join him. <clears throat> okay. 
So you do. You join him. Oh, other one. Fuck. That's all right. <laughs> I wanted to join too, but as I walk up, I wanted to be like, it can't be more interesting than my new bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Okay, so you guys end up almost, walking up. We and... almost got a brand new bag. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, you walk up and you see the exact same things on the table as well. Um, but there is one thing that points out to you, Lore. You see a black book with a with a with a uh, what looks like a skull engraved into it. Do I recognize any writing or anything on it, or any kind of title of the book or anything? There's no title, no writing. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm on a roll tonight anyway. I'm going to reach over towards the book and try and open it up. You pick up the book, start looking around on it, you go to open it, but it doesn't budge. Hmm. All right. Boy, you mind not handling me that way, please? Uh, it's a book to no. speak. Uh, okay, good. Just was gonna ask. Just wanted to make sure somebody else heard that. Oh. Please stop touching me that way. I do not like that. I will touch you however I want to touch you. Who are you? I am nothing. But a journal. One of those you famous talking books. Talking books. Well, I mean, Cassie does talk to rocks. <laughs> yes, but only she can hear the rocks. We can you hear say you book. are nothing, but yet you can speak to us. How does nothing speak? Oh. Well, my master. I hold a lot of things. He holds dear to his heart. Or used to have a heart. Who is your master? Can I flutter up onto the table, please? You what? I'd like to flutter up onto the table so I can actually properly see things. I'll put you right here. Um. Oh, all right, all right. <clears throat> Hello there. You are currently in possession of the personal journal of the Dark Lord Vecna. I'm just having a great fucking day today. Just gonna slowly put the book down onto the table gingerly. As you do, nothing happens. Should we just burn it and be done with it? <laughs> As if I could be burned. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. If this is a possession of Vecna's... I, I don't think it's going to be destroyed that easily. But there's these magical tables back here. We can see what happens. That's what I, that's what I was thinking. Maybe perhaps. Um, what if he were to be dropped onto one of them? I'm just going to grab the book and turn and throw it towards the table. It hovers over the table as you throw. Yeah, and it leans up. Its eyes turn purple. Eyes? Eyes. Well, I, where eyes would be. There's a purple glow now. Skulls on it. So. Tempted to destroy my own book, huh? As if you could. <laughs> well, to be fair, I didn't really think it, you could be destroyed. I just wanted to get your attention a little, that's all. I think you'll be silenced. You said your armor class is 13? Yeah. Oh, oh fuck, I'm at 20! Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Like I said, the book, not the book. you will be silenced as the book yeah, opens up. You're throwing the book at me tonight. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. As the book opens up, you see a hand come out of the book and points its undead finger at you. There it is. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. 18 plus 18 is what? Oh, 36. Oh, doesn't matter, I'm out. Oh. Strikes lore. But at least it's not double your total health pool. No, it is. Uh, total health? 
Yeah. I had 18 left, and you did 36 yeah. damage. Well, yeah, what, I mean, though, what I mean, total. though, is it's not 18 plus your max. Right. Oh. Oh, it's close, though. But if it was, that would have been dead, dead, no death saves. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm out. And the, you see the hand go back into the book as Lore just... It's blasted into the altar itself, kind of cracking it, and passes out onto the ground. Um... Do we see any of this happening from back where we are? Uh, you heard it. You heard the magic, the spell, being rendered. Okay, I'm gonna run up uh, and uh, just try to see what happened. Um, but, but as she's running up, I would like to immediately jump down next to him and second level cure wounds. As you do that, um, as you make your way up, you see a hand going into a book, and then you see the book start turning vigorously as it closes, and then disappears. Uh, that is 14 points of healing to... Lore? Lore. Good. Uh, okay, current HP... Oh. From 14, back. you said? Up. Yep. So a hand came out of nowhere and grabbed the book and pulled it into nowhere? What? what a hand came what, out of the book, what happened? blasted a, oh, of... a bolt at Lore, went back into the book, the book closed spun like a t freaking tornado and then disappeared. Allo comes running up and goes, Jesus, did you... You pissed off Vecna! No, oh, what else is new? I I'm gonna think use second level cure wounds. <laughs> I, I think that our mere presence has pissed off Vecna, Kalo. 14. Hey. Nice. Back to full health? Yes. Get all that healing. Almost. Um... And with with Lore now being healed up, um, we could scramble back onto the table and look at that crystal ball. Yep. Sanford. Yes. Told you the book couldn't be destroyed. Yeah, I I probably wouldn't have just you know. Okay. Yes. No. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I'm just on a roll, pissing people off today. <laughs> Well, at least, you know, you're not dead, you know, like, permanently. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm just going to slowly try and get up. Nice. Could have, could have, you know, tried poking it with a sword first or something. So, yeah. so you say you're looking at the crystal ball? Yeah. <laughs> Give me an arcana check, please. Uh, a what? Okay, fourteen. Um, I thought you said a one. Don't know why. No, I said wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, as you look at the crystal ball, it it you it looks like it's a terrarium with a miniature city inside of it. Slowly, very, very slowly, pick it up and look closer. As you do, you notice some of the buildings. It's Grimwell. Why is Grimwell in the sphere? Grimwell's in the sphere? Yeah. Oh, how fun. Like, it's it's all there? You see it all? I'm gonna, like, let her up there now, like, really intrigued. I'll, I'll hold it up so you can see it. Oh. Handling it very delicately. <laughs> Look at that! Yes, you, uh, there's the Raven Estate. Yes, yes. Ravenswood Estate is there. And... Oh, this is, uh... is, that, is that the Wet Cauldron? Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I do hope that this isn't uh, in a way. If this gets destroyed, the city gets destroyed. Um, so we might want to be very careful with this. Well, then don't give it to Law. He'll just throw it. Well, to be fair, yeah, never mind. I'm just gonna go look at the skull on the table while they're doing that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so you look at the skull. Um, it looks like it's a dragonborn's face. Like it, it has the bone structure of a dragonborn. Can I? Do I sense any magic coming from it? Give me an arcana check. Mm, yeah, it's a skull. It's a skull. Four. 
It's a skull. So <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of slowly look at it. Are, are you gonna talk to me too? Because so far we have a talking mountain, a talking book, talking rocks. Hell, we might as well have a talking skull. Oh, what? I am not touching this one, and I'm gonna go stand behind Sanford. It's a story. It's a story. That's what I heard. Yeah, I'm not touching it. Everything I've touched today has absolutely backfired. So I'm. You guys can touch it. I'm staying over here. I'm going to hand the, the the sphere over to Sanford. Please be very very careful with this. Um, and then I'm going to just poke at it at the skull with uh, one of my feet talons. <laughs> oh, I say, could you not hit me like that, good sir? Oh. Hello, <clears throat> sir. Uh, good talk. Uh, who are you? <clears throat> well, hello there. I am... Uh... Master Skullstar, if you will. Wait a second. You said Master Skullstar? Yes. Uh, Lore? Yep. This might be one of your ancestors? Lore Skullstar? Have... It... Alright. You say there's a Lore Skullstar? Yeah. Please. Let me see him. I walk over to the table. Tell me, oh wow, yep, you come from Draconic Bloodline, I can definitely tell that now. I do, and you are? Master Skullstar, skull. at your service. I am the first of my name. I am the one who deemed myself a Skullstar. Um, oh, I just don't know the timeline. Obviously, you look more... Outlandish than what I'm normally seeing on people. You'll have to forgive me if I am a little lyrious of what you say today. I've just been attacked by a book, so I'm a little more hesitant. You say you were the first Skull Star, are you? Oh, yes, I am. The first of my name. I became hatched. I uh, dubbed myself the name Skull Star. Master of the Arconics. And how did you become a skull? Well... You have died, but how? I died... Hmm... Eh, huh. Could you tell me the year that you're currently in? An yeah. era, please. Tell the era? <laughs> I forget! Uh... <laughs> do, do you need a refresher? <laughs> Yes, I forgot. Uh, I third era, 973 after the Dragon Wars. Jeez, when were we told that? The beginning of the campaign. Yeah, oh like my God. Night. You know, <laughs> a November. date that most people, people yeah. don't ever write down. That's, <laughs> that's what I said. It's in my notebook, actually, which is, third yeah. Anyway, anyway um, what did the M said? <laughs> oh, third era. Huh. Well, I remember where there was no era. Hmm. Last time I was alive, you believe it was the... Oh... 13,000th year in the... I guess what you would call the first era. And I died... Well, yes, that is when I... But I believe I was born in the early 2000s. In Draconic... Shit. I'm going to look at the skull, and I'm going to say, you do not know I am what I have been through. See, you, you are in the possession of the Book of Vecna. You are bringing my family's name to light and pretending to be my ancestor. Why? Vecna lives? Why shall I not smash you now on the floor? What What do you mean, Vecna? Vecna died before I died. I the watched book. the man the die. Book. The book 
that just attacked me was Vecna's personal journal. Three feet from where you sit on this table, and you expect me to believe a single word that comes out of your mouth. I have nothing to hide, as I am just a mere skull now. Hmm. You'll have to forgive me if I don't believe that. I'm going to switch back to common. I'll tell you what. And he continues in, in Draconic. I was there when we stormed Vecna's tower when he was just a man. We slayed him and never heard from him since. So what you're telling me is blasphemy. I was there when the man was killed. You have been dead for a very, very long time. Vecna has been back and has been tormenting this world behind the scenes for so long. And now you sit in a room with his personal journal and you know nothing. I did not know he had a personal journal when I was first placed here. How long ago were you placed here? Oh, about merely 900 years ago. Oh dear God. On this table? Upon this table. We, we still are in Grimwell, correct? Uh, no. We are on an island very much far to the south. Oh. I know Grimwell was around. But there was actually. no islands in my time. It was just Grimwell City and Elysia. Uh, yeah, um, so you see, we, uh, these, there were these three islands that we were sent here to explore to make sure they were safe for an expedition, for a new mineral slash ore that was found. Uh, however, it seems that the gods that were forming these islands came under attack by Lucifer, Asmodeus, and Vecna in Seal into Stone. And that is where you currently are. Ekna's a, a god now. Something of the sorts. Oh, that's not good. I suggest you bring me with you. Why? I can but be more useful than you think. But first, how do we get the hell do we get out of this cave if they cave the entrance? Can I insight <laughs> the skull? Go for it. Eight. Thank you, seven for fifty pities. Um Tell them the truth. And that... Sanford. Go ahead. Yes. You just pulled a sword out of that bag, correct? Oh, yes. It's a, it's a magical bag. It holds quite a lot of things. No, you well, can't have it. I, no, I don't want the bag. It's just the day well, I'm having... Well, you can't have it, so... I currently ask. have two options running through my mind. One... I smash this skull on the ground, and we figure a way out of here. Two, I throw it on the table, and it, see what happens. Um, but why I would like to protest against option two, as you literally were on death's doorstep the last time you tried to throw something on that table. I would also like to go against option one, because until we know the true motive of this skull, we cannot verify that it is in fact an enemy and ladies and gentlemen this is where we're going to end tonight <laughs> oh my goodness i um, have my bag it's my bag my bag, <laughs> Your bag. My, my, my face bag my, it's my, face my bag. own it's my own precious <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh. I meant to say three options, but I said two, so I just went with it. Oh, no, you're good, man. <laughs> uh, this has been a really fun night. <laughs> uh, we've had a lot, of, a lot of laughs. Oh, my God. Guys, I'm going to mute myself, but I'll be right back to, this, to talk to you guys afterwards, okay? Uh-huh. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and raid out. Um, let's see who's currently live at the moment. Oh, okay. But thank you guys so much. Son of a bitch. Mine, mine, mine. <laughs> Seven, thank you again for the biddies pedigree. Thank you for the follow. Ember, thank you for the resub. Bro, thank you for the raid again, buddy. Uh, Premise, thank you so much for the, all the biddies. Uh, Cosmo, thank you for the resub as well. And uh, happy birthday, Gabe. Thank you for the resub. And uh, oh, wait, no, that was four days ago, my bad. <laughs> 
WVC and chill with you guys. No worries, baby. Um, but yeah, this has been a really fun night. Um, I hope you guys have had a ton of laughs. I've had a good night. Um, please stick around for the raid. We are going to raid out to somebody, but I do want to tell you, this Tuesday, we are playing Mario Kart. I got my controller. I'm going to get hooked up tomorrow night after class, but we're going to be playing Mario Kart on Tuesday. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying our D&D sessions. They have been a ton of fun. Um, we're going to raid out to someone new uh, that I only met today. Um, so please stick around for that. Anyways, guys, Tuesday night, 7.30 p.m. Or 7.30. No. Oh, my God. 7 p.m. Mario Kart. I hope to see you guys there. Uh, there is my raid message for you guys to use. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening. And um, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Have a good night, everybody.